What's up guys, Josh here, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the best pre-built gaming PCs for $2,000. So the $2,000 price point is honestly probably the sweet spot right now for performance to price when it comes to pre-built gaming PCs, whether they're just pure pre-built or custom pre-built. Um, but either way, they really lend themselves to good performance for a reasonable price. At that price point, you're looking most likely at an RTX 3070, possibly an RX 6800, um, an eight core CPU, whether that be from Intel or AMD. And then you're looking at pretty good specs when it comes to cooling and other components when it comes to RAM, hard drives, things like that. But before we jump into the builds, just a reminder that we have our 5,000 subscriber giveaway happening right now. I'll put a link of the giveaway announcement video in the description below. Just hop over to that video and find the giveaway link in the video description. And that way you can get entered to win our HP Pavilion gaming desktop with a Ryzen 3 5300G and an RX 5500. Should be an awesome build to get started with PC gaming. But let's jump into the build and see exactly what you can get for $2,000. So let's kick things off with NZXT BLD. And we actually have a couple of options from NZXT. So I was really high on NZXT at the end of last year, especially when it came to their starter PC series. With the regular starter pc the starter pc plus and starter pc pro the pricing on those pcs were honestly really really nice starting from 700 and going up to around 11 to 1200 dollars but a few months back nzxt ended up raising the prices on each one of those models by around 300 dollars and now they're sitting at around a thousand to 1400 dollars and at that price point for the components that you're getting they're not really worth that price. But as we bring that price point up, both at NZXT and a lot of other pre-built manufacturers, uh, the components get a lot better for the price. So let's take a look at the streaming PC. So this is just their base streaming PC uh, and it costs $19.99. And for that price, you're getting an RTX 3070, a Ryzen 5 5600X. So at that point, you're getting a six core 12 thread CPU. You're getting 16 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte M.2 SSD. You're also looking at a B450 motherboard. So last generation motherboard with the newest generation of chip. Uh, you're also looking at an NZXT Kraken M22. So there's single fan liquid cooler. Uh, so I believe it's a 140 millimeter fan on that cooler. Either way, it's not going to give you the best performance when it comes to cooling. But with that six core 5600X, pretty efficient chip you're probably not gonna have to worry too much about overheating in your build. You're also only getting a 650 watt power supply, Windows 10 Home, and then their two year warranty. So overall, not a bad build for $2,000. But if we go over and we build our own custom PC through the NZXT BLD service, so not a pure pre-built at this point, but more of a custom pre-built, uh, you get to pick your components and NZXT will build it for you. So now we're looking at a RTX 3070, so the exact same GPU, but this time we're looking at an 850 watt power supply. So jumping up from 650 to 850, just kind of future proofing the overall system. Uh, an NZXT Kraken X63, so now a 240 millimeter AIO, paired with a Ryzen 7 5800X. So now we're jumping up to eight cores, better cooling, uh, still 16 gigs of RAM, a B550 motherboard, so the newer generation of motherboards from AMD a two terabyte HDD for all your games and a 500 gig SSD. And still sticking with the NZXT H510 case. So it's gonna have the exact same look, but $250 more, get you better cooling, better power supply, and a way better CPU. So overall, I think the upgrades are definitely worth it. And it's estimated to ship on 625. So only about three weeks out at this point. So that's honestly pretty good. And the NZXT streaming PC should ship in around the same timeline of about three weeks. So the NZXT offerings are honestly pretty compelling, but let's take a look at some other options. So let's take a look at Build Redux. So this is the spinoff from Digital Storm, making some of their higher end uh, gaming PCs a little bit more attainable 
to the average gamer. You don't have to spend $3,000 on an RTX 3070 build, but you're gonna spend closer to 2,000. So with this build, we've customized it with a Ryzen 7 3700X, so last generation CPU, but still eight cores, um, but you are running the older Zen architecture. Still not a bad CPU at 3700X, is going to do really, really well in games. 16 gigs of RAM still, a 240 millimeter AIO liquid cooler, the Cooler Master case, an X570 motherboard. So they are giving you the X570 chipset on the motherboard. So you could upgrade down the line to Ryzen 5000 with no issue whatsoever. Windows 10 Home, an RTX 3070, the same HDD and SSD setup with a 500 gig NVMe and a two terabyte HDD, all RGB fans, an 850 watt PSU, and of course, Wi-Fi. And from Redux, we are looking at $2,124. So this build is very close to that second NZXT build with the 5800X, but you're looking at around $125 less. And that makes sense. You're looking at a last gen CPU, and that's really the only difference between the two builds besides just pure aesthetics. Are you looking more for that NZXT aesthetic? Uh, or are you looking more for like the Cooler Master components that are branded in to the Redux PCs? And this thing should ship in a similar timeline to the NZXT build around three weeks. So let's jump over to another manufacturer, and this one is coming from Main Gear. So now we're looking at the Main Gear Vibe. So Main Gear is a smaller uh, system integrator just like NZXT and Redux, but a little bit uh, on the smaller side compared to those two companies. Um, and that allows them to do some really custom work. But the Vibe is one of their off-the-shelf pre-builds that you can just buy. Um, and this thing has an RTX 3070, a Ryzen 7 5800X, a 240mm liquid cooler, B550 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD NVMe, one terabyte Seagate hard drive, only a 500 watt power supply with a 3070 and a 5800X. That's a little questionable, but at the same time, I assume they've tested it. They know it'll work with the hardware, but as soon as you go to overclock things, it might not be enough power for the components. And then we get Windows 10 Home and full RGB, pretty much everything in the main gear vibe. And this thing comes in at $2,100. So you're getting pretty much the same components as that NZXT for $2,250 for $2,100. However, the ship time on this thing is anywhere from six to nine weeks. So you're looking at an extra month compared to NZXT and Redux. So at this point, I'm leaning a lot closer to the NZXT build compared to the Redux and the Main Gear Vibe. I mean, the price on the Vibe is awesome. The 500 watt power supply, a little bit concerning, and the lead time to get your PC is a lot longer than the NZXT and the Redux. But let's take a look at some of the bigger OEMs out there and start off with the Dell XPS. So this is their special edition XPS and it's very much gaming focused. So for this one, we get an i7 11700, a 3060 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 10 Home, 512 gig NVMe SSD, a one terabyte HDD uh, Wi-Fi. So you're getting an 8-core, 16-thread CPU, newest generation of Intel, non-overclockable, but still an awesome chip for gaming, a 3060 Ti, so a notch under the 3070, probably like 10% lacking performance compared to the 3070, but overall still uh, really good components uh, and only $1,800. So you're saving almost $300 to $400 compared to the other builds for dropping to a 3060 Ti. Um, however, if you're gonna buy any build from Dell or HP, which we're gonna look at next, you just have to be fair warned, cooling is not going to be very good on any of those PCs. Uh, the hardware inside is very customized to the OEMs, so your graphics card's gonna have custom cooling. Um, there's gonna be minimal fans inside for the most part, and it's not gonna be the easiest thing to upgrade down the line. If you want a new motherboard, you're not gonna be able to do it except going with an OEM version. Uh, it's just going to be a very difficult PC to upgrade down the line. If you just want to buy it, game on it for a couple of years and then sell it, still a very good option and you're getting really good components for a cheaper price. But the performance is going to be lacking just because you aren't getting the best cooling on those components. 
um, but for $1,800, not a bad deal. And let's jump over to the HP. So now we're looking at the HP Omen 30 liter. So their biggest, beefiest PC that they make. Um, a lot better cooling on this thing than you are going to get with the Dell. And this time we get an 11700K. So the overclockable version of the 11700. 16 gigs of RAM. A 512 gig NVMe. 1 terabyte HDD. An RTX 3060 Ti. An 800 watt power supply. Uh, Wi-Fi, all of that good stuff for $1,888. So now you're looking at like $60 more than the Dell, but you're getting an overclockable CPU, a better system overall when it comes to upgradability down the line with that higher wattage power supply. The overall looks a little bit better with the HP Omen compared to the Dell. So from that perspective, this is honestly a pretty good deal for $1,900 to get an 11700K and an RTX 3060 Ti. But if I were spending $1,900 and I could spend $300 more and go with that 5800X and 3070 from NZXT, that's probably the way that I'm going to go. This is the best PC out of the bunch in my mind. Probably the best PC at around that $2,000 price point they can get right now. And of course, there's still shortages out there. PC components are still hard to find. That's why lead times are so long from these manufacturers. That's why prices are so high from these manufacturers as well. I mean, starting out with the 3070 just released, you can get a pre-built with one of those cards in it for around $1,600 to like $1,800. And now they're upwards of $2,000. And that's just how things are going right now. But if you want to buy an RTX 3070 right now, just a pure RTX 3070, whether it's buying it legit from like New Age Shuffle or Amazon or whatever, it's hard to find those cards for like less than $700. And to get a PC at around 2000 with a 3070 and an 8-core CPU and everything else that goes into building a gaming PC, 2200 bucks is honestly not that bad. And it's using all consumer-grade components, easily upgradable down the line. And you can do whatever you want with this build, just like the Redux and just like the Main Gear Vibe. But at the same time, this thing has the newest generation of components. Everything's specced really, really nicely. And you're going to get it within, within the next three weeks. And that makes this NZXT BLD PC the best pre-built that you can buy right now for around that $2,000 price point. It's honestly the perfect combination of components, overall look, aesthetics, and just lead time in terms of shipping. So if you guys are in the market for a $2,000 pre-built, what do you guys think about the build I featured in this video? Would you go with the NZXT? Would you go with something else? What are you leading towards right now? Leave all of that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.